Hello world, welcome to CodingScientist.com. We are on lesson number 41. In this lesson, we are going to test our JetBot with ROS. So in the, in, the, in the previous lessons, guys, we did install multiple components and installations we did in the earlier lessons. Uh, and we need to now in this lesson double sure that all those components and the algorithms, whatever we installed, all the packages, right? It was a painful task. We need to make sure those things are working or not with the base of ROS. Without testing that, we cannot proceed further. Okay, one most important thing, guys. In this lesson, you need to remove the power adapter from Jetson Nano. You need to remove your, your power uh, socket, right? And now you need to connect your uh, wires between the GPIO pins of Jetson Nano and the PCA9685 motor driver which is on the jet board at the bottom, right? And then you have to switch on the battery and connect the HDMI port to the monitor. So let me show you what I did so that you will have an idea. If you see my jet board, it's totally on a, a you know, I have disconnected uh, the power. You know, if, if you see here, my power jack is totally out. I removed the power jack and then I connected the GPIO pins here. Can you see here? This is the GPIO pins which is connected to all this GPIO pins of uh, uh, Jetson Nano plugged into your PCA9685 motor driver board. And then I switched on this. You got to switch on this. You have to switch on the power switch. This is the power switch. Okay. I hope you guys can see this. Once you switch it on and connect the HDMI port to the monitor and your keyboard, of course. Okay. So keep this ready. This is required for this particular uh, lesson. Let's move on guys. Now let me share my Jetson screen. There you go. This is my JetBot screen. So what we are going to do. So let's take a look. Let me open my manual. All right, we are going to run raw score. Let's see what happens. I'm going to run raw score like this. We need to make sure the ROS runs. There you go. The ROS master runs guys. Perfect. This seems to be working. You need to get this exact screen what I am showing you right now. Okay, the nodes are open up. The ROS master is running. Now what you need to do, do not close this terminal guys, do not close this terminal. This has to be left open. Just press Control Shift T, okay, Control Shift T on the keyboard. This is going to open another terminal parallel to this, okay. Now what we need to do, let's take a look at our manual. What we need to do in the new terminal, we have to run this motor Python file. Okay, let me copy this. Let me copy, put it on the terminal. Okay. ROS run jetbot underscore ROS jetbot underscore motors dot pi. Okay, let's run this. Okay, nothing is happening, which is fine. I as far as you don't get any errors which should be fine just leave it open okay leave leave the first terminal uh, for example let me show you the ROS master is running still let it be open and the second terminal we have initiated the jetbot underscore motors dot python file let this be as it is okay now control shift t control shift t is going to open another terminal now here we will run some test programs to move the motors forward, backward, left and right and stop. Okay. So let me select the first command to move the motors, move the jet bot forward. Guys, uh, let me give you a heads up. This is going to move the motor very, very fast. So hold it in your hand hold the jetbot in your hand or maybe some kind of uh, you know container at the bottom to keep your jetbot on the top so that the wheels are not touching on the ground this is just a trial this is just a test okay so i am going to just lift it and hold it in my hand 
let me right click and try to run this command let's cross our finger moment of truth there you go wow fantastic i hope you guys can hear the sound the motor sound it's running pretty fast let me share my other screen can you see that guys the ros is working fantastic so we are able to successfully install ros on the jetbot and the commands are working perfect the motors are working perfect this looks beautiful all right now let me give a stop command let's go to you just have to modify the last word called stop and you can change it to right left whichever you want whichever direction you want the motors to move is just an example for trial guys just to make sure our ros is working perfectly on jetbot or not let me give a stop command there you go it stops perfect now let me go back to go back to the previous command you need to use the up and down arrow key if you click twice the up arrow key it's going to take you to the previous to previous command so here i am going to say i am going to modify this i am going to modify this to say left left and let's see what happens enter there you go i can see both the motors reversing in the opposite direction so that means it turns towards the left side let me go back to stop command i'll use the arrow key on the keyboard top arrow key it goes back to the stop command stop all right now let's say let me go back to the previous left one i'll try right let me type right it should again the motor should rotate in the anti clockwise to turn your jet bot towards right perfect it's running perfect fantastic let me give a stop command now stop all right all right guys so this has been a fantastic uh, lesson i hope you guys enjoyed and keep these things ready uh, once we finish this lesson once you guys are successful in installing ros and uh, jetson inference uh, deep learning modules and and the pre trained neural network everything is deployed into ros in jetbot and test it test the motors everything is running because here after moving forward from the next lessons we are going to activate the camera and stuff like that and it's going to get little uh, tricky i'm going to be back soon guys do have fun bye bye